Now see here simple microscope or magnifying glass. This is also one of the optical instrument and very simple one. Everybody uses this one like uh, in old ages people uses for reading newspapers. You know watchmakers uses for repairing watches and also it is reused by the students in laboratory for taking readings like in a vernier calipers or in a screw gauge. Now see here in simple microscope what happened? Actually this is a pure convex lens, a simple convex lens is chosen here and like this we take a convex lens. Here this is its axis here and this is the principal axis of the convex lens. Here somewhere is focus and suppose object is placed over here at this point that is AB and one ray is going like this and one is going to optical center. After refraction this will pass through the focus somewhere we can take over here. So, it will pass through the focus like this. So, after refraction these rays appear to get diverged here. So, when we proceed, proceed these rays like this extend these rays here in this side we will get the image of these this object over here that is A dash and B dash. So, now here is I when you are looking at the object from this side this is the angle subtended by the object at the eye. Now, uh, this is also equal to the angle subtended by the image. This image is virtual, erect and highly magnified. By this way easily you can read very small letters written in newspapers and on any other things, even they scripted on something. Here this is angle alpha here. Now, we can take this one this angle we can take not alpha this we take it give it here by the beta suppose. This is the angle subtended by the image at the eye actually here. Now, when this object is taken at this point it means object and image both are at the same point here this I can take as a P B dash angle subtended at the eye is that is alpha. Suppose this object is at the least distance of distinct vision that is capital D that is 25 centimeter for the normal eye, then here in this case we write m is equal to beta upon alpha that is magnifying power. So, magnifying power of a simple microscope is defined as the ratio of the angle subtended by the image at the eye and the angle subtended by the object at the eye when both are placed at the least distance of distinct vision. This is here the magnifying power. For getting magnifying power image and object both have been taken here at the same place and then their angles or the angular magnification are taken here. It means the angles made at the eye by the image and object both are compared. So, now this is the formula for here the magnifying power of the simple microscope. Now, see so we can solve it for small angles we can write m is equal to here that is a tan beta upon tan alpha. Tan beta can be written here now a dash b dash upon here this is c. So, c b dash into tan alpha we can write here p b double dash this one p b double dash p b dash sorry not double dash here upon this one is c b dash. So, we can write here c b dash this and this will get cancelled. So, now we can write in this case m is equal to a dash b upon p b dash, but we know it p b dash is equal to actually a b. So, here it can be written m is equal to a dash b upon a b. This is actually h dash upon h height of the image to the height of the object. Now, we can solve it here further if we write here you know the sign convention. So, we can write m is equal to which is equal to also h dash upon h is equal to v upon u, v is minus d upon minus u that is d upon u. So, we can write m is equal to d upon u. This is here the magnifying power. Here we can solve it further. So, we have got here m is equal to d by u. So, we can write over here and now we can solve it further by using lens formula. 
we know the Lenz formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. Final image is, obtained, uh, is obtained at least distance of distinct vision. So, we can write 1 upon f is equal to minus d plus 1 upon u. I have used sign convention and we multiply by capital D both the sides. So, it, so it will become d upon f is equal to minus 1 plus d upon u and then we can write here d upon u is equal to 1 plus d upon f. We have solved this and now we can write it here this d upon u is equal to m. So, we can write m is equal to 1 plus d upon f. So, for this one magnifying power of the simple microscope can be written m is equal to 1 plus d upon f when the final image is obtained at the least distance of distinct vision. We have seen magnifying power m is equal to 1 plus d upon f for the you know the when the final image is at least distance of distinct vision. Now, we can also calculate when the final image is at infinity. So, we know the lens formula 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. Final image is at infinity. So, we can write 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon infinity plus 1 upon u. I have used sign convention here, u I have taken negative. So, we can write 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon u multiplying by d both the sides that is d upon f is equal to d upon u and this d upon u already we have seen that is m. So, m is equal to here d upon f when the final image is at infinity. So, we have seen the magnifying power in both the cases and you know when the final image is at least distance of distinct vision magnifying power is larger than this one. So, this is the magnifying power of a simple microscope.